Uh, well, uh, we know you're all tired, you're all thirsty, very, very thirsty. Uh, so we just want to quickly, you've all got the manifesto. The, the only reason I dragged this poor woman up, because obviously, like before, she's drafted the whole bloody thing. Uh, with the help of uh, Pragna, uh, Mariame uh, uh, had uh, amazing, as usual, interventions. And I messed it up, and then she fixed it up again. So we just want to go over it quickly, because uh, we want to have a manifesto on women and secularism to conclude our conference uh, and uh, basically talk about uh, the major principles that are important uh, for women and for secularism. So do you want to start? Or? Well, as Pragna's brilliant closing remark said, that we are, this fight for secularism is not only a fight against religious fundamentalism, but against all other far-right movements. Religious fundamentalism movements are a subset of far-right movements, and we have to fight racism, as well as fundamentalism, because this is a time when people are on the move, people are fleeing those fundamentalisms in other countries, and coming uh, sometimes within their own region and sometimes to Europe, uh, and there is this massive backlash against people on the move, uh, against migrants and refugees. Many of the women on the panels were from backgrounds who were working with migrants and refugees. So what we, this, this is for international solidarity. It's for all peoples everywhere. It isn't for the protection of one set of peoples or one set of values against the other out there. It is for us all, in all of our struggles, for common values, for secularism. And uh, just, to, just to end, uh, uh, if you've all got your manifesto, uh, this is basically a document that defends uh, universal values, that defends secularism, that defends uh, the right to women's liberation. It has 10 points to it, uh, everything from promoting universal values, things we've discussed at the conference extensively, freedom of conscience and religion, prohibition of religious rules that constrict women, a defense of children's rights, an end to mutilation of children, gender segregation, child veiling, the ab abolition of religious laws that violate children's rights, countering both racist and fundamentalist discourses, and states and civil society to examine ways in which laws, policies, and practices violate human rights. And of course, the important recognition that secularism, while it is not the end all of everything, it is a minimum precondition, and it is today an urgent task and necessity and a basic human right. If you agree, please clap and show your agreement with us.